Greetings, AP Computer Science students. Uh, let's practice using Git before I actually uh, have you download our, your actual project using Git. Um, these are the steps. So I'm assuming you already have a GitHub account set up. Today we're going to fork a repository and then clone the repository your com to your computer and then go through making changes and committing them. Uh, we'll do these other steps at a, a later time. All right, so here we are inside GitHub. Um, I'm assuming that you already have your account, so you'll log into your account first. I will give you the link to a repository called Drawbot. The repository will be inside our class account, but right now it's only inside my personal account. Um, what you'll do is you will click fork, and you'll fork it to your personal account. Right now I'm forking it to our class account. Okay, so what that does is it uh, sort of makes a copy of that code, but that copy is still linked to the place that it got copied from. All right, now it exists on the GitHub server, but it doesn't yet exist on your local machine. So the way you get it on your local machine is by cloning it. Down here where it says the cloning URL, I'm going to click to copy that to the, uh, to the clipboard. And now you want to open up Git Bash. You can open up Git Bash through the start menu and type git, and you should see git bash there. This is a terminal interface, uh, so if you type pwd for print working directory, you'll see what folder you're in. Um, I'm gonna navigate to my workspace. So the workspace I wanna be in is inside a directory called David, and I see I've got a couple of projects in there already. Instead of creating a new folder for my project, I'll type git clone, and then I need to paste in the URL um, that's the clone URL I just got from the other place. So uh, unfortunately you can't paste directly into this window. The way to paste is to right click up here and say edit paste. And then when I hit enter, it will say cloning into a new directory called Drawbot. And then if I do a list, I see Drawbot there and I can go into it if I want to. And I see it's got a source folder. Okay, I'm going to come back out. Here I am. All right, so now you've got the code in the folder. The last step is to create a new Eclipse project. So here I am inside Eclipse. I want to make sure that my workspace is set to the right spot, so I'll switch the workspace to C drive David. That's correct. So now I'm going to create a new Java project whose name is the same as the folder name that I just cloned. So that's Drawbot. If you see this message about the wizard automatically configuring the JRE, then you have done it correctly. If not, then you should stop and go back and try it again. I'll click finish. And there is Drawbot already all set up with all my stuff. Uh, the only thing I need to do is put core.jar in my build path. So I'll right click here, properties, Java build path, libraries, add external jars, and you can find core.jar wherever it is on your machine and you can run main and there it is it's drawing a little thing all right if you've got this far let's pause and in the next video I'll show you about making changes and committing them